is happening guys it is Daniel Lodd 1989 welcome back to the Hereford United career this is episode 89 now today's episode we need nine points from today's episode and I say need because the next episode we have City we have Arsenal and then we have Liverpool and then the last two games obviously of the season Wolves and Brighton so we need nine points in today's episode. First game in today's episode will be against Nottingham Forest away. Last time I checked, they were rock bottom of the table. We'll have a look at the table before we start. We've then got Leicester at home and we've then got Everton at home. So today we've got to get nine points. If we don't, today we very well could drop off the top of the table. As you can see, Man City have closed the gap now to four points at the top of the Premier League. After 30 games, we've got 66 and they've got 62. Only a four-point gap at the top. From then on underneath, obviously, with Tottenham in third and Chelsea fourth, Man United in fifth, there's quite a big drop. So City are the main team that we need to outpoint, if you like, especially in today's episode. So we kick off with Nottingham Forest first, who are exactly 20th rock bottom of the Premier League. If this is not a big win, I don't know what should be. So I will see you away at Nottingham Forest. First played game of the episode then, guys. We are away at Nottingham Forest. And as we know, they came up uh, at the start of this season from the Championship and made their way into Premier League. Now, rock bottom of the Premier League, and we are top of the table. We've got to show that we are the more dominant side in this game. The way we've been playing recently and creating chances and scoring, I can't see anything but a heavy win here, but you never know, it's football, bottom versus top. Sometimes it does work, and as you can see, they're already relegated, so they're only playing for pride, really and we've conceded only 21 and they've only scored 24 so that tells you the story right there it should be a very comfortable win but i've taken no risks usually i would swap the side out against such a, a lower side we are at 100 percent we have gone everybody as they should be our full start in 11 because i'm not taking any risks on losing points so we'll wait for the lineups guys and then we'll get straight into the football Here we are then guys, the home side lineup right in goal. Let's have a look if they've got any of the originals from Notts Forest left at the club. I don't think they have Yates in, in midfield. I think he's a, a generated player. They've got a lot of, well, a, a good few generated players in their squad. And like we said, rock bottom of the Premier League, already relegated. He should be a very comfortable win. So Josh Griffiths in goal, Lamptey, Carmo, Maitland-Niles, Mings and Tommy Doyle in defensive positions. Conor Gallagher and Dominguez in midfield. Harry Wilson, Torre and Dembele up top. Like I said, I can't see anything but a heavy win here, so let's get straight into it. Nottingham Forest coming forward here in midfield and looking to get at us here. We've had the ball for the most part in the early stage, but not created anything, and Nottingham Forest are trying to come back at us, relegated or not. They're certainly telling us that we're in for a game today. We've got to be ready for a battle and here's one of our counter attacks if we can try and make this count here Dominguez looking for Harry Wilson on the far side if he can have a go the first real chance of the game produces the first goal Harry Wilson with an absolute sublime finish in the top corner and you have to give credit to Dominguez there for keep going and shouldering off the player to get the pass into uh, Harry Wilson who provides an excellent finish look at the determination here from Dominguez gets the ball across and Harry Wilson puts that straight in the top corner for 1-0 looking for that pass out to Dembele we've really got our tails up now finding some decent passes looking to split Nottingham Forest's defence here and see if we can get Harry Wilson in behind again who takes a good first touch to take it away from the defender here and cross one in looking for Dominguez at the edge of the box and the header was just off target a decent interception by Tommy Doyle approaching half time here guys and we are looking for a second in this game I'm just trying to find the right pass to get players through now of Nottingham Forest have started to sit everybody behind the ball but Tommy Doyle whipping it across goal here looking for Torre couldn't quite find his man here's Harry Wilson again to have an effort from the edge of the box into the keeper's gloves and that will be half time into the second half we go then guys and 
we've had all the chances, we've had all the possession, we've looked the far more dangerous side, we just haven't scored as many as I'd like, we've had a good few chances to put them away, we just haven't put enough away, we've obviously got the one through Harry Wilson, but we could have had one or two more in that first half, I'm hoping here in the second half we will be able to do that, but that was a nasty challenge on Dembele and the Nottingham Forest man will pick up a yellow card here. Dembele really not happy about that challenge as you can see. It's Dominguez looking to get the ball out towards Harry Wilson. On towards Lamptey. Let's give it to Connie Gallagher. See if I can get that ball out wide towards Dembele. And Dembele sets off here with his really good dribbling ability and running into the box and finds a second in the bottom corner. You can't give Dembele that kind of room and expect him not to run into it and have a go at goal. He's a deadly finisher and very, very good dribbler. So 2-0 now and we're starting to show our class in this game. Nottingham Forest have had a little bit of a go at us, but like we said, the quality difference you can see is starting to shine through and that is 2-0. Nottingham Forest coming forward here. It's a decent pass and looking to get it out wide, but Tommy Doyle was ready for that and intercepted it very, very well. Here's Torre running into some space here, Torre, and he's got back up from... Conor Gallagher and Dominguez here, here is Dominguez and flicked that on the inside of his boot looking for the far corner and almost came up with a brilliant first time finish but it just curls wide. Ball lofted forward by the goalkeeper and Tyron Mings will win that header quite easily. Dominguez in towards Dembele, let's try and send this out wide towards Harry Wilson. Harry Wilson taking on his man here and I'm going to see if I can find Torre in the box. He's been quiet in today's game Torre and that was a decent enough tackle there but Harry Wilson has gone down and it looks like Harry Wilson might be injured here this is the last thing we need towards the end of the season Harry Wilson has gone down and it doesn't look good I'm really hoping that he's not injured for a length of time but I am having to sub him off we'll have to bring on Fernandez to replace him and that's not what we wanted towards the edge of the season, guys. We have got some big games coming up. City, Liverpool and Arsenal all coming up. And to lose Harry Wilson would be devastating. Let's get Fernandez straight involved if we can here. Look for Conor Gallagher around the corner to Maitland-Niles. Tempted to have a goal with him here so far out. It does ping off a uh, Nottingham Forest man. And they will bring it away here. Lofted ball up the pitch here and... That's a good header by Fernandez to try and get the ball down and keep hold of possession. Here goes Fernandez again in towards Conor Gallagher. Torre back to Gallagher and he's completely free here. Gallagher, quick one, two, and Conor Gallagher will make it three on the 85th minute. We, like we said in this second half, have started to show our dominance now. It kind of has been ruined a little bit with the injury towards Harry Wilson and concerned about how long he'll be out for, but. Conor Gallagher doing him respect. A quick one too with Torre. Conor Gallagher sprinting into the box and putting it in the bottom corner for 3-0. Three, three minutes added on here, guys. And we might possibly have another injury now. Dominguez has gone down as well. And this is not what we needed. Harry Wilson and Dominguez have both got injured towards the end of this game. Three minutes added on. And now we have another injury to Dominguez. I really, really hope that this is not going to have a mass effect on how the rest of our season is going to go. Two players have been injured in this game. We're in injury time now. Three minutes added on. And I'll just play it out for you here now, guys, and see if we can pinch one more goal and just make the goal difference count, if anything. And here is Fernandez, who was subbed on for the injured Harry Wilson, decent passing towards O'Reilly, but there goes the full-time whistle. Back at the menu then, guys, and a 3-0 victory, which means another three points. And as you can see here, we've extended the gap now to six points, so City must have drawn their last game. But the game was kind of ruined because we've got two injuries now. And as you can see here, Harry Wilson is out for seven months we have lost Harry Wilson for technically the rest of the season and might even be the start of next season. It's really not good news at all. And we've also lost Dominguez for two months as well. Two of our probably star players at the club we have lost through injury. I'm really concerned now that that has, well, not has, it, it, it pretty much will have a mass effect 
on how the end of the season is going to go. We're going to have to call upon O'Reilly and Fernandez to fit in for the two injured players, which means I can bring Matazo on to the bench and utilise him. And I'm going to have to bring on possibly one of the youth academy players who can play right wing. I might bring Bray onto the bench as well, but without Harry Wilson and without Dominguez, we are a lot weaker as a team. So we'll have to see how we get on in the rest of today's episode, but it's already kind of been hindered because we've got two massive injuries. So at the Edgar Street Stadium next, we have Leicester. Second player game of the episode then guys, we are at home, we're at the Edgar Street Stadium, we have Leicester. Leicester, as you saw, we're in about 11th place, about mid-table, and we should get a victory here. Like we said, in today's episode, we really need nine points, because in tomorrow's episode, City, Arsenal and Liverpool, and now it's even worse because... Harry Wilson and Dominguez are both injured, so not only have we got three big games, we are two key players missing. We will see if that will affect things in today's episode, but as you can see, player to watch, Conor Gallagher, as dangerous as ever and still scoring goals. We really need him to step up in midfield and fill the boots for Dominguez as well. But we've got capable players, which we have obviously had to put in today. I have put O'Reilly in midfield today, and also I put Fernandez on the right-hand side. Two both capable players, not as strong as Dominguez and Harry Wilson, but two very capable players to at least do a job. So, like I said, Leicester at home. We'll wait for the lineups, and then we'll get straight into the football. As we line up today then guys, Josh Griffiths in goal. I've gone Ethan Laird, David Carmo, Matazo today gets the start. Maleng Saar and Tommy Doyle with the captain's armband. Conor Gallagher and O'Reilly in midfield. Fernandez. I've gone Kirk Wilson and Dembele today. So a rotated side but still a very strong side and should be enough to get a win against the mid-table Leicester side who still have Schmeichel in goal. They've got Zinchenko at the right uh, left-back position, sorry. And let's have a look who else they've got. Still got Nicolas Pepe and a half decent enough side to give us a good run. So we've got to be on hand here on foot and make sure we get an early goal and settle ourselves down at home. Leicester playing the ball through the middle here and decent passing to uh, main striker who's sprinting at our back line here. Tommy Doyle with the captain's armband today making a very good tackle and interception there. Let's play this down the line for... Dembele in towards Kirk Wilson and Kirk Wilson has pace and he's running at Leicester's back line here. I'm going to try and drop this to the edge of the box. It's Conor Gallagher with the shot and off the post. First real chance of the game and Conor Gallagher striking the post almost putting us 1-0 ahead. Lofted ball forward and that's well won by David Carmo. Down towards Matazor. he finds Fernandez's feet in for the injured Harry Wilson today. Inside to Conor Gallagher, finds Fernandez and Fernandez almost found the opener there and very, very close to getting that on target. If it wasn't for the defender blocking it out well, would have certainly found the first goal of the game. But Malang Saar gets a good challenge in there and it's a decent pace about this game. Really starting to open up, drop this towards Matt O'Reilly in for the injured Dominguez and almost found the back of the net as well. We are looking dangerous and it's only a matter of time before we do find the back of the net. Oh, lofted away and Leicester will head this towards our goal but Malang Saar makes sure it comes straight back at them and Matazo finding Ethan Laird out wide here. Let's drop this to Conor Gallagher into Kirk Wilson on the turn here and beating his man and that was a good effort on goal but Schmeichel with an outstanding save. Kirk Wilson, we've missed him this season to be honest. He started to score again recently, but Torre has just been a more consistent goal scorer. But it is good to see Kirk Wilson back in the action, but headed way over the bar by Dembele. There's Ethan Laird sprinting down the line. He's got Fernandez in front of him. He chooses to give him the slide through ball, and Kirk Wilson is in the box here. If I can find his feet, it was well cleared away there by the Leicester man. And if he'd let that gone through, Kirk Wilson had surely an easy tap in, but not long till half time now, and we've had multiple chances and haven't managed to find the back of the net. Leicester have been okay coming forward, but we have kept intercepting them, kept getting some good tackles in. And the story of the first half is it's nil-nil. Into the second half we go then, guys. And 
we've had some great possession we've had some very good chances we just haven't managed to score just yet but you can feel it, it is coming we've had one or two really good chances in the first half and Leicester haven't posed a real threat they've come forward a little bit and had some half chances but nothing really to threaten our goal because as you can see I was just about to say as you can see Tommy Doyle has been there to clear it he didn't clear it this time and they nearly went 1-0 ahead a warning sign to say they're not out of this just yet Leicester but as you can see still coming forward here and the manager must have had a word in the ear shot from outside the box and just over the top of the bar this game is not done yet it's Fernandez sprinting forward here and trying to get us on some sort of an attack. Leicester have had the ball for the most part of this second half, but we're managing to try and get it forward here. It's intercepted, and Leicester will pick up the ball again. They've had a little bit more possession in this second half. Not sure what the manager's said to them at half-time, but it has sprung them into life, as you can see here, sprinting down the far side. and He's got the ball across into the middle, and we could be in trouble, and we have conceded first half was all about us and now in the second half Leicester have taken the lead it's Nicola Pepe at the back post heading them into the lead and we just didn't defend it properly didn't get there with Tommy Doyle ball comes in nobody watching Nicola Pepe at the back post Josh Griffiths way too close to get a hand on it and they take the lead Leicester again coming forward here and certainly got their tails up since scoring but that's a really good tackle by Matazo in midfield and here he comes through the middle looking for teammates in support here's O'Reilly dropping that to Tommy Doyle back to O'Reilly looking for Kirk Wilson and Kirk Wilson's got free here if he can get a shot away which he does and he's dragged it wide of the target long ball forward looking for Dembele if he can bring it down and he did get there first but he hasn't won possession Dembele Leicester will come straight back at us and trying to attack the same way they did when they scored decent ball down the line he's coming to the middle good turn to keep hold of possession David Carmel gets a toe on it but it's not enough to take away possession from Leicester Malang Sar gets a block on it they're in again and they find a second 86 minutes gone here and we are 2-0 down we had our chances in the first half we didn't finish them Leicester have come out in the second half and they have been much much better we got so many blocks and all sorts of saves and everything in there it just wasn't enough to keep it out in the end and Josh Griffiths has conceded at his near post you could ask questions and say should he have done better but that's one hell of a strike and it looks like we're going to get a defeat at home here I said without Harry Wilson and without Dominguez in midfield we would be weaker and to be honest it's starting to show we were good in the first half but we just haven't been good in the second half and as you can see one minute of normal time plus stoppage time I might as well play it out from here guys we need to get this ball forward and at least get one back Kirk Wilson try and make me a run through the gap here and if I can find him which I have can he get there first he can and he's hit the post that sums up our day close just not good enough there's the full time whistle and it's a 2-0 defeat at home are going from bad to worse guys we get the victory against Nottingham Forest we get two injuries and then we've just lost 2-0 to Leicester as you can see it's not the worst thing in the world we still have a gap at the top of the table but when bad luck is on your side which it seems to be at the minute for us bad luck it's just not good when you are fighting for a Premier League title like we said we still have a lead at the top of the table but we need to win this third and final game. So the third and final game, we have Everton. We need three points. Final played game of the episode then, guys. We are at the Edgar Street Stadium. We are at home. We have Everton. We have had some real bad luck in today's episode, losing two of our crucial players, and we lost against Leicester last time out. We can't drop any more points because if we do, City are going to catch us and we can say goodbye to that Premier League. As you can see here, if we don't win this game or draw it, City have closed the gap. So this is a very, very important game. We have to win this game. And as you can see here, Gamirez is joint top goal scorer with Sterling of the Premier League. So... We've got a goal scorer on our hands today, and we've got to keep at bay. I've made a couple of changes to the starting lineup, 
and I'm hoping that it will be enough to get three points here. So we'll wait for the lineups and then we'll get straight into the football. As we line up today then guys, Josh Griffiths in goal, I've gone Lamptey, Carmo, uh, Maitland-Niles, Mings and Tommy Doyle in defensive positions, I've gone Conor Gallagher and O'Reilly in midfield, I've gone Dembele, I've gone Torre and I've gone Patrick Roberts today, tried switching it up a little bit, switching one or two players out, hopefully we'll get the three points, let's have a look at Everton's lineup and see how they line up, see if they've got any of the original players in their squad, they've got the Celso in midfield, and Thomas Lamar is still there and obviously Gamirez who is joint, top joint goal scorer with Sterling so we have got to get three points from this game as Matt O'Reilly over towards Lamptey use Conor Gallagher try and find Dembele here and, and Lamptey is going to give me the overlap run if he can keep it in and he just couldn't keep it in there it will be an Everton throw on the near side we I've had a little bit of the ball early here, but Everton are certainly no force to be overlooked. They have some good quality in their side, and we need to be at our best today. And decent tackle by Tommy Doyle. Try and get this to Patrick Roberts. Look for Torre straight away through the middle here, and he's got the pace and the strength to be beating the defender and beat the defender. He beats the goalkeeper. What a strike by Torre. That is the type of form that we need, especially missing some of our key players. We need Torre in that kind of form. He just got the ball of Patrick Roberts there, turned a little bit of pace to get away from his man. Bang! That is how you put the ball in the back of the net. It's 1-0. Bringing the ball through the middle here and having a decent spell of possession. Nice pass forward to uh, striker Gamirez, looking for his partner out wide on the wing. He sends the ball in and Gamirez had a chance to pull the trigger there and Josh Griffiths was off his line in a shot to get there and make sure that he couldn't get his shot away but we might have a chance here with Conor Gallagher if I can get Dembele over the top here is certainly quick enough to get on it and he did get something on it and he's battling for it but couldn't quite win possession it's very much a back and forward first 25 minutes or so here every time we go forward Everton try and come back at us we've got the first goal and took the first initial step but Everton not without trying here and we have ourselves a free kick not sure what it was for maybe some ankles were clipped but we'll try and get it forward here from the free kick Dembele around the corner I've got Conor Gallagher running free on the far side I'll try and find Torre again in the middle here and try and have another goal with Torre and this time the goalkeeper stops him Torre in some fine form at the minute and that was one hell of a strike as well. If that one would have gone in, it would have been better than the first one. Let's whip this in the box here. Looking for Patrick Roberts going for the overhead kick. And let's send it back in. Matt O'Reilly try and pull the trigger here. It's ricocheted off and we'll take another corner. Putting the pressure on Everton. We needed a win here and we're going the right way about it. We've scored first and we're looking like we're going to get a second here. Torre up in the box and the ball is cleared but only cleared as far as Maitland Niles, here's Tyron Mings round the corner to Tommy Doyle who pulls the trigger and the keeper catches comfortably there's David Carmore going to send that out wide towards Patrick Roberts here who does bring it down well I'll try and use Tommy Doyle on the overlap here approaching half time we might be able to get a second before half time here with a decent cross in by Tommy Doyle and I think it was Dembele who threw himself at it at the back post but just couldn't make contact before the defender cleared it away one minute added on before half time and we've had a very good first half there's the half time whistle we've got to do it again in the second half into the second half we go then guys and we get the goal from Torre he puts us in front we've had some decent spell of possession Everton have been dangerous on our goal but we have stood up to the challenge and I'm hoping that we can get one or two goals in the second half and finish this game off let's see if we can create something at the start of the second half here but Everton get a block in here and start to come at our back line themselves ball whipped in hopefully Tyra Mings will get on this he didn't he let it go there it could have been dangerous but thankfully we do clear it away we've given the ball away there with Matt O'Reilly and they might have a chance to create something before they 
at the start of the second half here playing it around our box and Lamptey gets a good block in there and we will get it away let's try and counter attack here with Conor Gallagher send Torre through the middle here and Torre is in and Torre should be able to get our second and his second of the game the goalkeeper gets a stop on it and it should have been a second goal have ourselves a throw here on the near side going to try and find Maitland Niles if I can and I've give possession away and Everton will pick it up here and start coming at our back line decent pass in he's got Gamirez who tried the distance shot and sends it way over the bar Everton running the ball out of defence here and running at our back line we've got to be defensively strong and make sure we don't concede in this second half it's towards the end of the game now 85 minutes gone and Everton have looked the more likely in the second half to get a goal let's try and keep them out here David Carmel getting a really good block in and can we try and find a second here Torre is completely free he missed his chance before can he convert this one he hits it and the defender blocks it and it is a penalty according to the referee he blocked it with his arm let's have a look at the replay I hit that with Torre hoping for the best and it does bounce up and hit his arm his arm was out of place and we have a chance to finish the game off here I am going to give it to Torre and hopefully he'll finish it off in the bottom left hand corner here and the keeper has gone the right way saved it and we miss out on the chance for a second I'm just not good at taking penalties you guys know this by now but Torre up for the header and the ball is cleared away not long before the end of the game here I will try and get us a second but let's see how we get on here's O'Reilly looking for Torre and Torre was taken down at the edge of the box there had his ankles clipped and that will be a yellow card and we have the chance to finish it off from a free kick we couldn't do it from the penalty spot can we do it from a free kick spot I would imagine Torre will probably step up himself as Harry Wilson injured is not on the field to take it it will be Torre to take it here let's see if we can finish it off he couldn't do it from the penalty spot can he do it from a free kick let's put some dip on it there and a little bit of power he gets it up and down and it's off the top of the crossbar we have had chance after chance to finish this game off and we haven't done there is two minutes added on one of the two already gone we just need to make sure that it's at their end and not at our end and here is Torre drop this towards O'Reilly it was a really good tackle by the centre back there there goes the full time whistle we will get the three points back at the menu then guys and only just 1-0 we got the goal in the first half but probably it should have had more we should have scored the penalty probably more my fault than more Torres and the free kick just off the top of the bat at the end of the game we had multiple chances to try and finish them off but I suppose what counts is the three points now as you can see here we still have a lead on Manchester City it's a five point gap at the top of the table that could all change in the next episode because as you can see at the main menu the next game is City so it's it's a six pointer in the next episode that is a six pointer we win that game more than likely we'll win the title we lose that game we could be dropping off the top and City could steal it as we have Arsenal and Liverpool as well in the next episode do not miss out on the next episode guys because it could decide either winning the Premier League or not winning the Premier League it is that important so as always drop me a big thumbs up guys just drop me a comment anything you want to put in there and give me your support because right now I think we need it we've lost Harry Wilson we've lost Dominguez we're a little bit weaker strength wise and we've got three big games in the next episode drop me a thumbs up drop me your comments leave me your support and I will keep bringing the Hereford United career to you don't miss out on the next episode it's been Danilaz1989 love you bye